I really like the idea of organizations bringing in a CDO because that's basically the thought, hmm, we want to do data-driven decisions. We want to be a more data-driven organization, right? And it manifests itself into like, hey, let's bring in a data expert and let's call him chief data officer. But, you know, it's, um, I mean, the reality is that just bringing in a CDO will not s convert your organization to a data-driven company. Um, there's a lot of change management, bringing along the people. The idea of bringing in a chief data officer to maybe more democratize data access is a really good one, right? Making data-driven decisions. This book, uh, Thinking Fast and Slow, speaks about it. If you are under pressure and you have no insights, you do an emotional decision. And unfortunately, emotional decisions are all in 99% wrong business decisions. The book is, has a, talks about it. It's phenomenal. So if you want to be a better business, move faster, you need faster data access. Um, so you need to democratize the access uh, of the data. And again, kind of bringing in a CDO, a chief data officer, is kind of a cool first step. But here's what bothers me of the CDOs that I saw in a lot of companies. They come in and they're a little bit more the librarian of the data. So the first thing is they're kind of um, trying to build a map of the data. They're trying to build an index. What do I have? Which data sets do I have? And let's make sure that only the right people access the data. And let's make sure that only um, the data right processes and we clean the data. You know, so... <clears throat> As companies think, okay, we need to democratize data, what means we need to go to a more agile data uh, access pattern, what happens is with um, many CDOs that I saw, well, they're actually adding even more process, processes to the data, right? And they're e adding even more restriction around data access. Are there data security challenges? Yes. Are there data governance uh, requirements? Yes, absolutely, right? And they are resolvable, and you have to, you know, always assume, uh, you know, I, I always believe in the good in the people that, you know, the right people do the right things with the right data. I think that's important, and they have phenomenal opportunity with that, rather than, um, you know, let me rephrase that, the right internal people do the right things, right? You want to keep out the bad guys from the outside. But so what I'm trying to say is that I see a lot of CDOs coming in instead of working on that data democratization that they may be initially brought in for. They work on data documentation projects, metadata and processes, rather than on how can we take out more stones um, and make everybody be able to work with the data. I wouldn't say that um, every CDO is slowing down, but someday, sometimes I, I see a lot of CDOs that misunderstood their mandate. And instead of um, democratizing data access, they make it even more difficult. And they're now trying to own all the data. And they, data in organizations is a little bit like a living, breathing organism almost, right? It's created somewhere, it like walks away somewhere. But um, I think as you maybe, again, train your people to be open and uh, intelligently work with data, you know, and not just blindly believe data analytics, not just blindly share data, um, you know, obviously you have all the knowledge around personally identifiable information. I think the value for the overall organization is bigger because you now can do um, decisions based on data insights rather than gut.